What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. Good morning to a very early start over the weekend. And firstly, I've got a fair few apologies to get off my chest. First of all, the last week has been incredibly stressful. I did have an issue with uh, extracting some of the content off my new iPhone 7 onto my laptop, which was why I didn't upload the aspect valeting video. But today, it is all about the nuke. Uh, it is a sad, but very, very exciting day because it is the beginning of of a new adventure. I will explain more in the car, but first of all, we need to head over to Colchester, where I was not so long ago at a Porsche dealership. But I will explain all in good time. I am just very, very excited about making this video. And if you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen that I had a bit of a moan last week because I spent about two hours trying to film this exact video. So fingers crossed, Today can go a little bit better than last time. Welcome to about take 50. I'm not having a good day. I've been chased by a wasp. I've realized that a bird has pooed on my car right after Aspect Valeting detailed it. Um, an old man has walked past. I thought that he was gonna shut down my video shoot and he just came to say hello. Um, and now a car's coming. Brilliant. <laughs> and I do think that I've got the advantage today because I'm up bright and early, but at the same time as well, I've got a bit of a better plan and a better end destination. The sun is shining, it is gonna be a beautiful day. Let's get going and let's get cracking on with the morning and with the video and with this brand new adventure to Supercars of London. For those that have been subscribed to my YouTube channel now uh, for over a year, you will be very familiar with the day that I brought the Audi A1, the Nuke, into my life and onto the YouTube channel. It was the 1st of September 2015, two days before I completed my Lamborghini dream of owning a Lamborghini by 25. I bought this car because I absolutely fell in love with the spec, I absolutely fell in love with how the car looked, and as a daily, it was pretty damn perfect. Why is the sun always in my eyes in the recent videos? Last week, something very, very special happened to the Audi A1. It got its much needed TLC from Aspect Valeting. Aspect Valeting spent five hours on the car giving it a high gloss wax and sealant detail, meaning now that the metallic flake in the paintwork is absolutely perfect, even better than when it came out of the showroom. And Aspect Valeting worked their absolute magic. I filmed it all on my iPhone and couldn't extract it quick enough onto my computer or into the iCloud and then back onto my computer because my internet is quite fast, but I filmed the entire day on 4K. So the first lot of videos that you're watching right now took me all day to transfer about 20 of the video clips. There are two reasons why Aspect Valeting worked on the car at the time that they did. Firstly, it needed that TLC. Obviously, this car has had a pretty turbulent 12 months, um, but the only issues that have come on this car have been when the car's been static. I have covered 10,000 miles in this beast and it has been the most enjoyable 10,000 miles I could ever have asked for. When Audi and Dub Customs fixed the car, removed all of the dents and re-sprayed it, when I picked the car up the paintwork was too new and fresh for Aspect Valeting to detail the car there and then so we had to wait a couple of weeks for the paint to settle in to give it the most optimum time for Aspect Valeting to really go in on the paintwork and make it as good as new. So that's exactly one of the reasons why I had to wait a little bit. The second bit is the sad part. This car is going to be sold very, very soon. It is going to be for sale and I'm moving on. It is a sad, sad time, but the Nuke has served me incredibly well driving into London, up and down the country to video shoot, seeing family, friends, transporting family and friends in this car. It has been a phenomenal, phenomenal car. And I have to say, one of the best cars that I've owned, one of the most enjoyable cars to drive, 
And I know that sounds crazy because of the other cars that I've been lucky enough to drive, but it is true. The way that Audi have put together this car, the little 1.4 engine with 125 PS in the front, it is a miniature pocket rocket. Um, and I will definitely, definitely be sad to see it go. So, where are we going right now? Well, I briefly mentioned that I'm headed over to Porsche Colchester today. I asked kindly as to whether I can borrow this specific Porsche to set the bar and to create a series of boxes that need to be ticked for the replacement to the nuke. This is the exciting bit that is gonna be happening incredibly soon and I want it to happen as fast as possible. I am on the hunt for the nuke replacement. I've posted quite a lot on Twitter um, from <laughs> cars all ends of the spectrum, in and out of my budget. This Porsche is very much out of my budget, but I want to use it to set the bar of what I'm looking for in my next daily sports car, my next daily hot hatch, whatever it is. Like I said on Twitter, I've been posting pictures from all ends of the spectrum. I posted a Maserati Gran Turismo V8. <laughs> That's way out of my budget. I've posted an RS3 in satin black fitted with massive RS6 performance wheels. That was cool. There are obviously going to be some more contenders. I'm thinking from the BMW family. I'm thinking from the Audi family. I'm thinking from the Mercedes family. And if you've got any suggestions, then please comment below and I will do my best to head down to a dealership and test drive those cars and film it and make a bit of a casual series. I'm thinking it's gonna be a little bit more casual than my first supercar, the weekly series when I went on a hunt to find the perfect first supercar. I'm gonna do this as and when I can fit it in into a video. And I'm gonna try and find, I don't know whether it's gonna be the perfect sports car, the perfect car hatch, whatever it is, I'm going to be on the hunt to try and find the perfect nuke replacement. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it this one? This is no entry. Ah, uh, I think it was. Damn it. Here we go! We've made it! I've made it, the nuke is parked up and is gonna be tucked up here for the weekend. And I've made it to Porsche Center Colchester where I am about to jump in a pretty special car. And this is the beginning of the journey to find the replacement to the Audi A1, the nuke. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where you will see exactly what car that I'm picking up from Porsche Colchester. If you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you probably would have already seen it, but thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and remember to put your suggestions in the comment box below on what you want to see replace the Audi A1. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you very soon. Cheers, guys.